So I take off, and I didn't want to climb too fast. I didn't want to over control. Oh, oh you nervous. That's the story of my uh, Quicksilver here. This is the only Quicksilver ultralight I have ever seen. Like, I, ne I never went to look at other ultralights before I bought this one. And I bought this one sight unseen, not flying. Yup. Put it together. Well, I'll tell you the story when I'm climbing out or... Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go over here. I'll fly down the river. So yeah, uh, I, this is the only ultralight Quicksilver that I went to look at. And I bought this one, sight unseen, and not flying. It was not flying for, I don't know, how many years, but it did fly for a while. It ran. They sent me videos of it running. So, at least that was that much. Got it home, and I had it put together. Me and my cousin, they helped me put it together. It had a wood prop when it, when it came. I looked at the prop, and there was like a rubber coating on it that looked like it was slightly peeling off. And I didn't think it was, you know, that big of a deal, but I, okay, anyhow, I take off and it was midday thermal, uh, a little windy, but I had the itch. I could not go flying. I took off and my cousins, they're on the ground, they're videoing me. You can hear them in the, in the video. Like, they were a little stressed for because they, I guess they were nervous that I was not comfortable in it. And I wasn't comfortable to start with, of course. Got to be nervous. Oh, f***. Oh, nervous. Keep it nervous. Keep the headset up, shawty. Keep me hot and over. I land it, and then I take it off again. It's not on video when I took off the second time, I think. But when I uh, when I took off, I felt the the engine start to vibrate more, and I was like, "Oh, gee!" Like I I knew right away that it was the prop. The prop came apart. Not like it didn't shatter or anything, but it came apart and I landed in. But yeah, that's the story of my uh, Quicksilver here. I... Yeah, anyhow, that's it. <laughs>